<laughs> you go hard at the conventions? Like party? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I think we were, like, everyone was drinking on Sunday just right as we started tattooing. It'd be funny if, like, the more sober and happy and feeling good you were, the worse your tattoos were. Dude, don't say that. <laughs> I think, like, like me and Tyler true. think that's kind of true. I have a theory. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I think, like, one day he was like, dude, you do tattoos better hungover. And right. like, that is a terrible don't thing to say. Don't, like, don't put that on. Don't put that on. Randy like, walks up to Tyler. He's like, man, I hate my tattoo today. Tyler's like, did you drink last night? He's like, no. Like, That's he why. He gets mad at you. He's <laughs> like, what are you doing? Are you even taking this serious? Do you trust us to tattoo you? <laughs> <laughs> Not unless you're hungover, bro. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us on today's episode of Unemployable Podcast. Today we have Randy with us, also known as RB Tattoo on Instagram. Thanks for joining us, man. Nice. That was really good. That was a little bit better than the first one for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Do you prefer RB or Randy? Randy, all right. RB. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys are showing up for your appointment, make sure to ask for RB. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for real. Oh, this what? is pretty cool, dude. Like, I didn't know you guys were this serious about it. I thought I was walking into like... So a, a MacBook with like some AirPods or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is legit. That's what we, we wanted it to be. Yeah. I feel like I'm on like Joe Rogan or something right now. I think that as a compliment. Maybe in like ten years when I'm bald. <laughs> yeah. Like fully bald. We'll change we'll change Danny's name <laughs> yeah. to Jamie. Yeah, yeah. I'll just call him Jamie. <laughs> I'm so down for that if yeah. you are. Just keep Hey Jamie. <laughs> you down, Alex? Yeah. Danny's right, new name's cool. Jamie now. So you're ever at Sunshine with the boys? I am. You've been there a while? Three to four years. Sheesh. Four years? Three years? Something Dude, like that. I like the energy over there. I know, me too. Just good time. I'm just never going to leave, ever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Although I always I always threaten to quit when they, uh, like, I'll just get blamed for something or they want me to do, like, they're like, why don't you take out your trash? And I was like, I don't want to. I'll quit. <laughs> <laughs> and like, we have our, the... Uh, the other artist, she's like, kind of like takes care of the shop, and all of us is Renee, and oh, she yeah. is always pissed off at me, and she's like, "Renee, take out your trash," and I was like, "No," it's like, <laughs> "Well, you're gonna get in trouble." And I was like, "I quit." I like that. <laughs> I'm gonna start doing that to my employees. Yeah. If you don't take out your trash, I'm gonna quit. <laughs> it's a power move. Yeah, it kind of is just asserting dominance. If you did that, I'd be like, go. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but for the record, no, I, I do take the trash out. <laughs> <laughs> it does fill up sometimes. <laughs> yeah, the shop seems to have, like, a really cool dynamic. I would say we're familiar with a couple of the guys. Yeah, we're a lot more uh, tame nowadays because, like, Tyler just had his baby. Actually, oh, yeah. Tyler had his baby, like, nine months ago, I think. Right. And... Um, we don't really like go out and party anymore, but I'm the only one that still goes out and parties. So I'll wake alone? up and go to work and yeah. I'm like, everyone already knows, like I'll show up with like sunglasses on and he, Tyler just did a YouTube video and he's like, oh, Randy's here. And I was like, <sighs> <laughs> what? <laughs> What's that like sometimes just like walking in the shop and it's just like energy. Um, just like usually I can roll with it, but nine times out of ten I'm really hungover, so <laughs> I just like get the f camera out my face <laughs> and give me like a Red Bull and then I'll be okay. <laughs> but you, you like you know it's coming, like going to the shop, right? Or is it only sometimes? It's only sometimes. Mm. You never know. So it'll catch you by surprise. Yeah. Sometimes Tyler will text me and be like, "Yo, I'm doing a shop video tomorrow," and I'll be like, "All right, hell yeah!" And then, and then I'll go out the night before. And then forget. That right. that. <laughs> you know, Tyler's like doing today. a shop video. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, you have a podcast at 9 a.m. All right, let's get fucked up. <laughs> that's right. That's tomorrow. A little pregame. Yeah. That's future Randy problems. <laughs> <laughs> future Randy hates me. Dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I'm right there with you. <laughs> so I was definitely wondering, how'd you kind of like meet the crew over there and kind of get in on that? So uh, I moved to Florida like. I don't even know, dude. Five, six years ago? No. Five years ago? And uh, I actually did a guest spot over in Tampa 
at um, Electric Gold, and uh, or they're in St. Pete, I think. That's where uh, Logan's from. Oh yeah, it is. A, it's an awesome shop. Um, my buddy Steve Oker used to work there, and he just opened his new, his own shop. But uh, so I I guest spotted there. I'd never been to Florida before, and I was like, holy fuck, shit, dude. I'm moving to Florida, like 100%, yeah. because I'm from New England, and it's just, it, there was like six feet of snow on the ground, and yeah. I just lived there my whole life, so I, I guess spotted there, and then I came back, and I told my shop, I was like, listen, I'm, I'm out, I'm moving to Florida, and uh, my buddy Gian was working for me at the time, he, he was like, oh, well, you should check out uh, my friend Tyler's shop like before you move like cross country basically and i was like yeah you're probably right <laughs> so i came down to the east coast to tyler's shop and like the second i met tyler i was like oh yeah we're best friends right and uh that's how it started and and like i think like maybe a month or two months after that uh i just moved down here and, and just like full-on send you know cool. so far so good Oh yeah, I'm never leaving. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna die here. Yeah. <laughs> this is the spot. <laughs> yeah. Your transition to Florida, like, how was that with like clientele and clients stuff like that? Actually, uh, I want to say it like blasted off when I moved to Florida for some reason. Like, I was I was warning all my clients up north. I was like, listen, I'm moving to Florida. So a lot of people like finished their sleeves and stuff, and then like. Once it became, like, serious, they're like, oh, man, you're really moving to Florida. Right. And I was like, yeah, you should come get a tattoo. And they're like, okay. Yeah. And then they all flew down. Like, all of them flew down. And then, I, uh, you know what's actually weird is that I don't really tattoo a lot of people from Florida. I yeah. tattoo maybe, like, 10 people from Florida a year. <laughs> Everyone else just flies in. That's awesome, though. That's weird. Do you think you prefer that? No. <laughs> there's so much pressure yeah. it'd be cool to see your clients once in a while <laughs> you know like you can't call out you know right yeah, there's right, so much more right. pressure to like finish a piece as well oh there's so much pressure they they're like they flew in they have a hotel they're only here they can't ever come back for some reason like i can't just be like i don't feel i, I don't feel good today they're like well die in a fire you have to tattoo me <laughs> yeah right. you, you better know. come in with the glasses on <laughs> make the best of this <laughs> And he's like, I'm hungover, but fuck it. I know, like, straight up with everyone all the time. And <laughs> I just came into work, and I was like, dude, I am so fucking hungover right now. <laughs> and they're like, great, hell yeah. And then I'll just put this giant stencil on their arm <laughs> for a full sleeve. <laughs> really? And everyone's just like, how are you doing this? I was like, I have no idea. Dude. I really have no clue. Dude, but it's like a different part of your brain. Like, I've definitely come in not 100%. And I'm like, hey, you know, I'm on two hours of sleep or whatever the thing is. But that's fine. Like, I tell the client. Like, yeah. I don't, I don't this ain't that. my first rodeo. Right. Like. The part of my brain that does the test, I'm just not going to talk to you a lot. You know? <laughs> the, the work will be there, you know. We made a commitment. I showed up. I was about to say, the work always looks solid still, as long as, like, that holds up. Like, yeah. Just, Imagine if, I like, people flew in and they just, like, got a shitty tattoo. <laughs> that yeah, sucks. Or you just like didn't show up. <laughs> Some artists just drooling and passing out on me yeah. all the time. <laughs> yeah, I've noticed that like with clients that fly in, they, or most of my experience, they take it a little more serious. They do. And then, and sometimes that, most of the time that works in like my benefit. Mm -hmm. Like they're more about the art, the artist freedom. They're like, yo, I just came here to get this, like however you want to do it. Yeah. And a lot more of my local clients are, not as much like that, you know. I would, I would, I would agree. I think that's uh, that's definitely the case. Yeah, you're, you're. Uh, do you get some pushback from your clients typically, or are they usually just like, "Yo, whatever you want." Oh man, I can't remember like the last time. I can't remember the last time someone said like, oh, "I don't like that at all." Right, I right. think <laughs> I don't have to change anything. Not home. <laughs> but uh, the last time, the guy was like, oh, I drew, um, like, a phoenix, I think. <clears throat> and his, his uh, reference was absolutely terrible. It looked like it was from the 80s or some shit and not in the cool way. <laughs> right, right, right. <clears throat> and I drew, like, a huge Neotrad one, and I came in, and he didn't really speak, like, very good English. He was like, no, I want that one. And I spent, like, six hours drawing this. And, and uh, there was, like, no getting through to him. He's like, no, I want this one. I really want this one. I was like, 
okay. Right. And it was basically like already stenciled yeah. just <laughs> on Google. So I was like, run it. Put it through the stencil machine. Right. And it was like this big. I was like, okay. Really? Oh, yeah. Here we go. And, but he was so happy like, after. And I was yeah. like, all right, cool, man. Sometimes people just know what they want. They're like, don't you like it? And then you got to lie to them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, I'm it's like, so sick. Dude, that is sick. That's right. the coolest Phoenix I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> you doing garbage chats recently? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Go on. I had like another one like that too. It's like I drew something and they were like, no, I want this. Yeah. It was just like it was scratchy Pinterest tattoos, like no line work. It was just like, yeah, it was bad. Yeah, dude, I've had that where it's like, hey, I just want exactly this. It's somewhere between line work and like tribal animal. Yeah, whatever, <laughs> you know, you know exactly know? what I'm talking about. Like on Google, and they're like, "Do you think this is cool?" And I'm like, "No, I do not." <laughs> and, and then, they're like, can you and make then it cool? Once in a while, you'll have just these. Souls that are like, that's okay. It's my dad. Yep. <laughs> like they don't give a fuck. There's like a special place in my heart for those people. <laughs> like you're just fucking raw dog. Yo, because like, to be honest, one day like, time, after bro. you like get past like that part of the design, they're usually pretty chill though. Like you give them what they want, they're just happy for the rest of the. Appointment. Yeah, like there's no doubt in your mind. This is exactly what they found. Yeah. even though they found it this morning <laughs> on Google, yeah. like their whole life yeah. is this design. Uh, and you can go through your day like. They're happy with what I'm doing. There's no questioning. Like, during the tattoo, <laughs> I wonder if they're going to like this. No, yeah. yeah. They're like, this is like, you're miserable, right. but they don't There's also it. no wondering, like, I wonder if I'm going to like this. Yeah, like, no. it's very clear. Like, I'm going to hate this. <laughs> you're going to love this. <laughs> like, stencils great. on. You're like, today's yeah. going to no suck. There's no guessing today. <laughs> yeah. There's yeah. no guessing. No. Today. Yeah. You welcome your fellow tattoo artists walking up. What are you working on? Don't worry about <laughs> yeah. it. Don't waste your time. Keep yeah, walking. Yeah. <laughs> I had this client this week. You're, I think you're pretty fast at tattooing, right? I'm really fast. Yeah, Fucking I'm like not, nah, and sometimes I'm like worried I'm not going to get enough done in the time because I know most clients judge it based on like area size rather than detail. Mm -hmm. Like I had this client this week, he was six five, and I was I'm starting a leg sleeve, and his calf. Oh yeah, it's probably like this Just oh, long yeah. legged. <laughs> and we had a back to back session, and I like only got the outside of the calf done. And like I was trying to tell him the whole time, I'm like, dude, you're the tallest person I've ever met my whole life. Yeah, and like I'm holding up this thing; it's the size of Cam's back. But <laughs> that like, thing, that thing would have been like a full arm sleeve, like wrapping around me. Yeah, and I'm like, dude, like, even though, like, we're doing back-to-back -back days, like, I'm only going to get, like, a fourth of your leg done, and I'm sorry that you're <laughs> so tall. Like, I was so did worried. He, did he fly in, too? Uh, he Florida? drove from Georgia or drove something. Drove from Georgia? Yeah. Okay, so there's the pressure. Right. I'm yeah. trying <laughs> to get so much done. I just, I'm so straight up with everyone. I'm like, we're just going to do the lower part. Yeah. And I'll finish it. I actually prefer doing that a lot more is when – like, uh, I'll just do, like, the inside of a sleeve right here. Yeah. And then I'll leave the whole entire outside of the tattoo open so I can put another thing next to it and just, like, connect the leaves and shit. Yeah. It's easy. No, I mean, I think definitely communicating prior is is the best. So it's not – they're not, like, guessing at the end. Like, oh, I thought this or these false expectations, whatever. Yeah. Uh, Luckily, my clients all know what they're getting into. Okay. And And, like – since I'm so fast, they they just are all like, how did you do that? Right. I'm like, I have no idea. Right. You're like, well, I got drunk last night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wore the sunglasses here. Just a little pre-game. Nothing wrong with that. Super hungover. <laughs> right. It's 7.30 p.m. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how often are you tattooing nowadays? How often do I tattoo? Yeah, like. Just try to do week. like four days a week. Yeah. You know, sometimes five. Um. I actually just had, like, the f my first week of cancellations. Like, a whole week? Dude, the whole week. Like, Damn. Oof. Yeah, that sucked so hard. And it was right after, like, my f my best friend from Canada was here. And we, like, partied all weekend. Right. And I was, like, betting on the week. Right. I was like, <laughs> I am, I am being broke right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, I'll make it back this and week. And then my, my assistant, Tia, texted me. And she's like, yeah, he had a couple cancellations. And I look in the calendar, and I was like, Tia, that's 
all the cans. Right. <laughs> right. It's not a couple. <laughs> She's like, you're off this week, by the way. Was it flying yeah. people or local people? They were all flying in. Yeah. yeah. Um, but that was like the first time in my career where I had like cancellations for real. Yeah. Like usually like me and Tyler used to like pray for a cancellation. <laughs> yeah. Like when we like three years ago, we were like working almost seven days a week. But see, when you're slammed, sometimes that oh day you're God, just like, oh, I wouldn't mind if someone just didn't show if, up. If me and Tyler got a cancellation, we'd be like, oh, thank fucking God. <laughs> yeah. And like we'd go on the boat and just like have a have a fucking day off, you know. Yeah. So that's not it's not like the same now. I mean, I have to work on Thursday and Friday this week. So only two days this week. I never have like a real schedule, you know? Right. It's always, it's supposed to be Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Right. Sure, something like that. And it's it's never like that. You're like, well, I could do Monday. <laughs> You're like, all right, I guess Monday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, what's, what time do you typically like start your tattoos? Like what are your session? One o'clock uh-huh. is the golden hour. Agreed. Prime time. Prime time. Yeah, yeah, usually like uh tattoo from like one to seven is is six hours. Yeah. Six hours is the day rate. And then like uh I'll just ask them like right when they get get there. And I was like, Do you want to stay within the day rate or do you want to go over it? And they just go from there. I mean, sometimes uh like the guy I just tattooed, I'm actually supposed to post it today. I tattooed him for fourteen hours. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> it's wild that's a lot but dude i'll show you it's it. a young man's game dude dude i stay away from those it's those like my long. favorite tattoo i've ever oh done. wow yeah you practically full sleeve them yeah. yeah and then it's funny because like i tattoo them all day or whatever like right before i was like right before we started i was like uh oh, do you have any other tattoos? And he's like, yeah, I have two other ones. And I was like, all right, cool, whatever. I stenciled it, whatever. And uh, 14 hours later, I'm like, oh, yeah, let me uh, let me see your other tattoos. You said you had a couple more. And he goes, yeah, I have my ring finger tattooed. <laughs> right. And then he had this tiny little skeleton hand over here. And I was like, this is right. your third tattoo? Well, yeah. And he's like, yeah, it's, it's whatever. I was like, dude, you're fucking insane. Yo, some people dude. are crazy. Dan just did like three days back to back on that kid for his second tattoo. Yeah, that's wild. Uh, three that's days so for a back piece. Yo, he had like bold. three sevens like on his hip. That was it. Yeah. And he did a whole back piece. Like, the wolf thing? Yeah. Yeah. I, that was crazy for your second tattoo. I, I couldn't do three days in a row. I don't know. I'd be like sick oh, afterwards. To get tattooed? Yeah. Fuck no. Absolutely not. Yeah. Right. Absolutely not. Yeah, he could have kept going, bro. It was nuts. He was like, yo, let's throw some color in this thing. Yeah, I could barely come to the shop three days in a row. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, on a day's off? Like, yeah, not happening. No. No, <laughs> no, no. no. Yeah. no. Yeah. And then, like, I, once in a while, I've tried to trick myself into thinking, like, maybe some heavy hitters are doing, like, collabs or in a convention three days in a row, whatever. Yeah. I'm like, oh, maybe I should just take that. But that would probably be the worst. No, yeah. Because, like, day one, I've realized I've made a terrible mistake. Because you realize you have two more ahead yeah, of you. All these people are watching. Yeah. I'm about to tap out. Yeah. <laughs> these artists I look up to are going to be mad at me. You, know? you just fucked their whole weekend yeah, up. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> probably some Russian artist yeah. screaming at me. <laughs> and I'm a loser. Yeah. You do, uh, you're into conventions at all? I do the Austin Invitational that's coming up. Then um, the Seven Cities Invitational. I think Invitationals are the new thing. Like uh, that just means like you, uh, they don't accept everyone. Yeah, you have to be invited to right. go. So like, uh, I feel like the last convention I did was up in Boston, and you could like walk around and be like, "How the? Why are you doing a convention? Like right. they're, <laughs> they're so bad at tattooing." And. Uh, <laughs> This, like, the the invite-only thing is, like, you can expect, like, they're just, just the best of the best. There's yeah. nothing but, like, elite tattooers, pretty much. Yeah. That's weird. Elite tattooers. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Got <it>. Yeah. <laughs> couple, like, because we just did the uh, the Empire one. There was some solid yeah, there's there. Super is that an invite-only? I don't no, think so. No, but it was one of the inked shows, so they... They do invite a lot of artists, so like the people they do. In, it's like you have to like send your work, and I guess, but I feel like they do. Kind they of don't think they. I don't think they really checked. Yeah. <laughs> what yeah. it looked like. Yeah. How is the uh, 
like clientele turnout with with those the conventions you go to awesome yeah yeah like good walk-ups and that kind of stuff I mean, it's kind of weird for me because I just book conventions. Right. Because, like, I, ne- I never get to do a small tattoo. It's always, like, huge pieces. So, like, I'm already booked for the weekend. And then I'm going to do a guest spot at, uh, at my buddy's shop after. And that's already booked. Right. You know? So you have, like, a little time over there. Yeah. I'm going to eat barbecue for, like, five days straight. That's, that's it. <laughs> yeah, it sounds awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you go hard at the conventions? Like party? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everyone was drinking on Sunday just right as we started tattooing. Yeah. You know? <laughs> no, like, didn't even wait till you were done. You're yeah, just we're like, not waiting yeah. anymore. <laughs> I might try to be responsible on this one, though. Uh, I have to be responsible on Friday. Why? Because I'm doing a collab with Harlan. Oh, fuck, mm. I can't spell his or say his last name. Just can't to, like, try to be professional? I feel like I should be, you know? Maybe just get a feel for him. You can crack, you can crack one open. Get one day yeah. of just, like, professional Randy. Yeah. And then, like, the other two days, fuck him. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see him, like, get more and more wasted throughout the weekend. It'd be funny if, like, the more sober and happy and feeling good you were, the worse your tattoos were. Dude, don't say that because <laughs> I think, like, me and Tyler true. think that's kind of true. I have a true. theory. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I think, like, one day he was like, dude, I think you do tattoos better hungover. And right. I was like, that is a terrible don't thing to say. Like, <laughs> that don't that put that on. Don't put that on. Randy, like, walks up to Tyler he's like, man, I hate my tattoo today. Tyler's like, did you drink last night? He's like, no. Like, that's <laughs> he why. He gets mad at you. He's like, what are you doing? Are you even taking this serious? <laughs> You're going to tell me you showed up here not hungover, bro? I will say I'm not hungover all the time, but right. most. All the tattoos can't be fired, dude. <laughs> well, <laughs> they are. <laughs> yeah, they are. I mean, yeah, tattoos are fire. Um, I mean, all the work I've seen from you is amazing. Uh, I've heard it's fast, your fast tattooer, which uh, honestly is more impressive. And I know the clients typically tend to like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, I prefer that. Like, even get tattooed by Nate, I'm like, yeah, this is going to kind of suck, but it'll be short. It only sucks for four hours. Yeah, right, it's not right. a whole fucking day. Yeah, yeah that's, uh, that's just happened to me, actually, because uh, Ray Ray, do you know him? Yeah. So Ray Ray did this side of my face uh, like a year ago, and he was like super nervous to tattoo me, which is fucking bullshit. <laughs> Everyone's always so nervous to tattoo me. Huh. That's weird. Just tattoo me, bro. <laughs> right. But he took like three hours to do this. And it it didn't hurt at all, by the way. Okay. And then he just did this one, and it took, like, 45 minutes, and it sucked <laughs> so bad. But it was, like, 45 minutes of, right. you know, Right, yeah. just done. <laughs> yeah, huh. I prefer that all day. The quick? Yeah, dude. Because yeah. I've had, like, especially if you've had both, or it's like, I've gotten tattooed by this dude who took 12 hours, and then this dude did the same tattoo in three, but it hurt so much more, like... Yeah, I guess it depends. Like, if I'm having a, g- a good time, I don't mind. Yeah. If I'm not, I want it to be over quick. I'm like a death by a thousand cuts kind of tattooer. You know? Slow. Yeah. It's not going to hurt in the beginning. Mm-hmm. I'm going to trick you. Yeah. The white Eight people catch up. In, you'll be pissed. Yeah. 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 You like kind of catfish them at first. Yeah. Yeah, this isn't yeah, too yeah. bad. I'm and a catfish, like, pretty much. You got to do it sometimes. What? You got to do it sometimes. I do it every time. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Have you uh, always been in that style? Neotrad, yeah. Yeah, like right yeah. off the gate? Dude, it just happened so fast. As I I did it like the right way when I was apprenticing. I did like a, and when I could start charging, yeah. I did like a rose deal. And I would just tattoo roses for like $60. What kind of roses? It was like... In the middle of traditional and neo-traditional. Cool. And I just, like, I got booked out for, like, a whole summer of just roses. Nice. And then, uh, like, it just jumped into neo-trad. You know, I'd never really done anything else. Which is cool, but. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I feel yeah, like more and more, we were talking more and more people are just kind of entering their apprenticeship, finding what they want to do, and, and just staying that course. And yeah. not really veering away from it too much. Which is fine. That's that's cool if you want to do that. But like my my favorite tattooer is DJ Tombe, mm. and he's like, dude, that 
it's so dumb that you could like do neo trad better than me and then the next day you come in and do a black and gray portrait of someone's like dad or some shit and the next day color he does, like, full color japanese and i'm like i'm just gonna unfollow you <laughs> <laughs> i saw that you, you did a collab with him right yeah i went out to vegas and did a, a collab with him it was so awesome bro That's i was sick. gonna say yeah how was dj tombe fanboy what uh you're not, the, you're not the only one dude <laughs> do you often do collabs i try to i try to do like a couple a year at least and how will you approach a uh, collaboration hungover because <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> i feel like there's a couple ways to do it i mean will you back and forth send designs will you draw together will you tattoo together separate i, I prefer sending the design back yeah. and forth like, like on top. Yeah, I'm, like, really weird about, like, my stenciling and stuff. It's, like, OCD almost. Okay. But, like, um, if I already know the person, like, if we already did one, like, we could just do whatever. Right. Like draw on the same iPad or whatever. And, and like, if me and, like, me and Eulis will do one, and and uh, he'll just, like, draw a bird real quick, and I just draw a reaper real quick. And it doesn't really matter if, like, it's a bad stencil. Right. Because we just, like you know, make it into something else. Right. Because, like, the trust is there, the experience with that person. Trust has got to be there. Jesus. Dude. Yeah. Do you trust us to tattoo you? <laughs> <laughs> Fucked up. Not unless you're hungover, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't collabed or anything, thought about it? No, I've thought about it. I definitely want to. i definitely waiting for, like, the experience to catch up. Because a lot of guys I want to collab with I feel like I'm a little out of their their realms. There's a good, like, I definitely want to do one with Phil. I'd love oh, yeah, to. I'd love fun. to do a collab with Phil. I feel like our work contrasts each other. And cool. then, how do you charge when you do a collab? It, per artist, I mean, sometimes you would like, you know, take a little off the top. Um, but like, my day rate is set, and their day rate is set, so you just put them together. Cool. Yeah. It's a. It's a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. I, just, I feel like you're asking a lot of artists, though. Like, when you want a collab piece, you know, you're, like you're bringing two artists out of their comfort zone and trying to, like, collab together on a piece. Yeah, like, I mean, what do you charge for a day rate? Uh, 2500 Okay, cool. Same. Yeah. What, do you do a half day? No. Oh, you don't? No. Oh, that's cool. Well, what I'll do, because I like back-to-back, -back, so if you book a back-to-back, -back, I'll do 2000 per day to try to encourage longer sessions. Cool. Um, Maybe I should do that to like incentivize. But if it's just one day, twenty five. Yeah. And since you switched that, it seems to have worked like pretty well. Like I've noticed a lot of people book back to backs now. Yeah, you just get like I for me and the way I style, like I get better pieces. And usually, what I'll do because the day rate's seven hours, but that first day I'll usually go nine, okay. uh, like eight or nine, just to really make sure I'm chilling for the next day. Right. And then the next day, I'll do, like, six or seven. Mm -hmm. Like, either way, they're getting over the time. But it's almost, like, cool, I can get out early the next day. Yeah, for sure. Do you uh, make them come in early, too, on the next day? It depends what I have going on that morning. Um, like, one I had this week, I was like, yeah, come by, like, a little early, and we'll just get right into it. Right. But that was just because I had a dinner that night, so I couldn't stay late. I'll still find myself staying late at the shop. Even though I might, like, I'm usually 1 o'clock, you know, we're kind of getting things ready. We're tattooing by 1.30, 2 o'clock. And I'm usually, like, done tattooing at 9. And then something happens between, like, 9 and 10.30 where I'm just at the shop doing nothing. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, you know, uh, pictures yeah. and, like, looking at my setup and putting things in my backpack. Yeah. And for some reason, it takes an hour and a half. You haven't been on Instagram all day. You got to hit the quick scroll. Bro, I Stay away from that demon app. <laughs> <laughs> Doom scrolling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just met, you're like I'm stuck. Yeah, someone come yeah. hit the phone. Just wasting air. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done a collab. Really? Yeah. How long have you been tattooing? Thirteen years. It's weird. <laughs> ben, <laughs> you know what you ben, do <laughs> ben and I have been like trying to do one. We've been sending this like drawing back and forth, but then he'll just stop answering me for like. a weeks <laughs> it oh. does that to me too yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you work with them <laughs> maybe i have done a collab never like at the same time with someone yeah it's Which always I, been like sessions apart maybe yeah. yeah are you you guys tattooing at the same time 
Mm, I mean, I have. Yeah. That's that's like the tricky part. Yeah. Like two tattoos, like one's fucking. You know, you're both doing your own thing, but like you're tugging at each other. Yeah, yeah. for real. And bumping elbows and shit. Yeah, it's just not cool. You just like take turns. Tag in, tag out. I was gonna say when you work like quick and proficiently, you kind of just like boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Well, you usually like go for an hour, chill for an hour type shit, right? Yeah, usually like get their line work done. Gotcha. And their line work done. Like I'm. This is the first one where it's like oh, in Texas. I'm doing one with Harlan, and he does like realism. Yeah. I've never done that before, so I'll probably like line all my stuff, and then I'll just have to like chill because like realism like. Takes- a little bit. They just go straight to like shading, right? Yeah. Yeah. So he's going to be like coloring in his piece and his is all all black and gray. Right. So like, wouldn't you have to do, I don't know, I'm going to find out. Yeah, like, yeah. Wouldn't you have to do all the black and gray first and then I would have to color my stuff in? Probably. I, so I saw like a, a Neo and a Realism collab once <laughs> and it was like a Sacred Heart with a, like that was Neo with like cool colors and then the inside was like a Realism skull. Neo dude like outlined everything. The realism guy, like, stenciled the skull, did the skull, and then the Neo guy, like, finished out the piece, just coloring it in. Huh. I don't know. We'll find out. It'll be a new one. I'll tell you guys all about it. Can't wait wait to see. (laughs) Listen, if you do realism, definitely don't do (laughs) (laughs) that. Flat pieces are cool, though. I think it's, like, a really cool thing that artists can do to like come together to give people like a really cool custom piece like some of the coolest tattoos i've ever seen have been collabs i agree sure do you prefer the styles matching or it's re- i like it both because i'll see like sorsa and trojan collab and they're like right. very similar yeah. but it like it looks sick but yeah. then i'll see like super bright neo guy with like super cool bold lines collab with a realism guy and it's like such a cool dynamic or it's like a reaper where like the robes and like backgrounds neo and like the reapers realism i think that's fucking super cool yeah i it's definitely something different especially when you like when i see the contrast and styles i'm like what's going on it's a little more obvious that it's a collab Mm -hmm. that and it's like oh you can definitely tell there was like thought put into this planning you know like this definitely took uh time to like put together this wasn't just like oh i real quick walked in got this tattoo like it's a process i think it's super cool yeah if you're like a huge fan of a style it would be cool as well though to have you know your two favorites or two awesome guys in that style Exactly. Coming together on something. Yeah, 100%. Especially if like, you've just been wanting to get tattooed by both of them for such a long time. You're like, man, why don't I just do them both at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like I see it a lot more at conventions. Yeah. I think it's just like uh, the industry just opening up and more people just being willing to work with each other now. Yeah. Like, I think more people are open to other people's ideas nowadays. Yeah, I guess that's a good point. I've definitely noticed artists coming together a little bit more in the last couple of years where maybe, I don't know, 10 years ago, it was kind of like, fuck off, you know? Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's always, like, nice at a show. Like, you see two people working on a person. Yeah. You're like, what's going on there? Mm-hmm. Even if they're, like, shitty tattooers. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I'll still look. I'll be like... Nah. Nice. <laughs> yeah. you're, try- you're trying. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. You have a good weekend. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. That sleeve I finished on Saturday. I, like he came in for like two extra hours, and I got out super early, and I got to like relax on the couch for a little after that. Yeah. And then um, it was my buddy Blake's birthday yesterday, but we went out. Saturday night, yesterday was Sunday, so yeah, we went out Saturday night, and like, somehow partied till like 7 o'clock in the morning. Nice. Yeah. We don't, also, uh, we don't do any drugs, you know? Like, we don't do blow and, or barely smoke weed, Uh, so I have no idea how the hell we were (laughs) up until 7 o'clock in the morning just (laughs) drinking, but we did it. We had like a beer pong tournament in my house, it was awesome. Nice. Basically a child. Yeah. 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 And that's, then, that's and the then that's what I say, yeah. dude, he comes over the next day and it's at his actual birthday. And then he goes golfing for like a couple hours and gets like blacked out. And I call him and I was like, yo, we're going bowling. I told him before oh, yeah, we were going right, bowling. bowling. 
And he, he was like, are you, are you for real? Are we actually going bowling? I was like, yeah, dude, hit me up when you're done golfing. And then they went home, but then we, all of our friends and stuff, we still went out bowling and got, met, like, wasted. And I got in the truck, and I was like, dude, we're partying for Blake's birthday without him. <laughs> <laughs> My girl's the like, best Blake's right birthday ever. Yeah. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Just, you, just be the party. You have partying until 7? Hell no. Never? No, I'm like an old man. Dude. What do you do? Nothing. You just go home? Smoke weed, yeah. Smoke weed every day. Yeah. And watch cartoons? Sure. <laughs> Is that actually what you do? <laughs> no. That's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday I went to fucking Tampa and back. Just for funsies? Just for funsies, Just yeah. to see if you could. Yeah. <laughs> it fucking Dude. rained the whole fucking car yeah, ride. It dude. sucked. What's up with that? <laughs> yeah, the weather yesterday sucked. Are you driving? Hell no. I don't Sick. like driving. <laughs> yeah, Dude, I got I to, I got to sleep that whole fucking car ride. It was awesome. Yeah, I can't complain. Yeah, I, I don't like driving, dude. Oh, down here. So wait, why'd you go to Tampa? Uh, yeah, we don't care about your fucking drive. It's <laughs> <laughs> like a little, it's like brain. a little nerd convention with my girl's brother. What convention? A cartoon convention? <laughs> no, I wish. Just like so a nerd convention, pretty thing. much. Yeah, you just smoke weed and walk in there. <laughs> yeah, it was in like a barn though. It was really weird. <laughs> You're like, this is a convention. Tampa's weird place, dude. Was it like a real convention or like no. someone on Snapchat put it together? Yeah, it was like fucking. 12 vendors in there. Really? <laughs> yeah, it was pretty it was, more, it was more like a gathering. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's like a, just a group of nerds in one barn. <laughs> it's pretty it's like bad. like an ICP thing? Yeah, there's like no fucking an AC ICP in there. Thing? I don't know what, what that is. I have no idea what that is. I just uh. said, yeah. <laughs> Do you wear face paint? No, I should have, though. It was hot as Dude, like half his barn. face is a butterfly, dude. <laughs> that would, I would pay for that. Seal the deal with Sanoderm. This is the shit right here. This is the only tattoo aftercare product I use on my clients. If they walk out the door without it, I don't feel safe. I don't know about you. If you care about your tattoos at all, you need to use this product. It's easy to apply. It's comfortable to wear. It's it. It can heal anything. This shit can heal anything. You've seen the videos. Use code cam sucks for 15 percent off we love it so much we teamed up with them we're giving you 15 percent off use code cam sucks go to standardarm.com every weekend i go to the sauna and some weird shit happens because i go every to, weekend you go to the sauna yeah i go okay. to a public sauna what yeah Publix has a sauna <laughs> yeah, nope yeah public sauna. <laughs> public sauna. <laughs> <laughs> no i go to the la fitness sauna oh, public okay. um yeah oh man He's like, yeah, I'm going to the wrong Publix. <laughs> and, yeah, and there's a problem every time. This, because uh, there's like sauna etiquette. Okay. <laughs> Stay with me. <laughs> Stay with me. So like you go in there and like be fucking quiet and it's like it's really hot and like don't start shit with other people. Because everyone, I'm assuming, is like me and they're like on edge. Because you're trying to stay in there as long as you can. Sweat and... and I get not pissed pass out. <laughs> yeah, bro. Why do you want to do this every weekend? To like cleanse, get the metals out of my body. Health shit. Yeah, know. health shit, whatever. Yeah. Dumb shit. I go there for the fights. Bro. No, no, no. <laughs> no, but I'm there and this dude is like taking up the whole fucking corner of the sauna. And he's like exactly what you'd think. This like really overweight old guy that's wearing a towel that's way too small. It's like, come on, bro. You know? <laughs> Everyone's like standing around him and kind of like the etiquette is like if you walk in and someone else is standing like they're there before you if a seat opens you let them grab it right you ain't waiting all you need to know this <laughs> <laughs> bro so this so see no one's sitting around this like crazy weird looking guy so I'm like all right I'm just gonna sit down like I kind of look at the spot look at you okay you're, you're not going for it there. I go some dude's like, oh, I, w I was here. <sighs> I knew it was going to be a bad time, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, all right, do you want the spot? And the guy goes, well, that guy's taking up the whole corner. So now that guy's involved. So now it's this weird thing. So I'm like, okay, I'm just going to get up. So I, like, get up, and, and I'm just, like, standing. And then the guy doesn't sit. 
So now it's like awkward. Yeah. Remember, it's like a hundred million degrees yeah, in there. Yeah. This is super awkward. Yeah. I'm like, okay, what Everyone's are you doing? Just in like, are you gonna sit or not? So then he's he doesn't. So then I just go back and sit down. And then the guy fucking leaves. Weird, right? So now I'm sitting next to this like fucking old guy. There's two other guys sitting there just standing. It's something like this every time. Hmm. Or someone comes in, they're on the phone, they're fucking screaming. Uh, I can't help myself. I'm like, bro, get off the phone. Shut up. Yeah. Whatever, all these things. You don't care about my sauna thing. I get really amped about it. I know how you... Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. be yeah. I know you're passionate so about your sauna. I'm going to bring you some time. I know you're passionate about your sauna time. That's right. Yeah. I'd love to see it. I'm going to bring Alex and trap him in there. <laughs> Just lock him tell in the sauna. Tell we're cutting weight. You have to tell him to sit on the dude in the corner's lap. <laughs> you could be the guy. You could be the be fat the, you guy. You could in be the corner. the corner, dude. Just man spreading. Naked. <laughs> no towel. Assert <laughs> dominance. <laughs> uh, I want to get in a little bit about like sponsorships and stuff. I see that you're sponsored by a couple people, like FK, Maverick. Yeah. Um how do you like working with sponsors and stuff like that? Uh it's a little different nowadays. I mean, you don't really like dude, I feel like they used to be like a lot more strict like years ago. Uh, they like wanted you to like post tag. Um, I mean, they still want you to do that. They wanted you to like, man, I don't know. Just like, I forget all of it, but it, it, <laughs> it just felt like you had to do a lot more. And like nowadays I'm just like, yeah, whatever. Right. Just give me free shit. <laughs> right. And, no, uh, I tell you. and they do, they give me a lot of free shit. We love free shit. Yeah. And I'm <laughs> not going to have some bullshit sponsor, like for 50% off when really, like, it, you could get, like, the same shit on Amazon for the same price. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Like, the sponsorship has to be worth it for you to, like, want to claim it. You yeah. Know? Which, FK Irons was, like, a real big one because, uh, like, they'll just give me machines, you know? Yeah. Those, are, those things are expensive. Yeah, man. And especially if they come out with a new model. They usually hook the artists I can't imagine, like, like, buying one of those. <laughs> well, like, yeah. fucking 1300 bucks, yeah. now, dude. I'm not buying one of those. <laughs> 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 oh, that's so fucking funny. Will they approach you, typically, or do you approach them with the sponsorship? Dude, my favorite story to tell is, like, how I got my sponsorships. Yes, please. And I'll give you one guess of where I was. The bar? The bar. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I was with my buddy, and just obviously hammered. Right. <laughs> and I just went down. This is like seven, six years ago. I just went down the list of tattoo companies, and I DM'd them all. And I said, yo, let me get a sponsorship. Nice. That's it. And it fucking worked, nice. dude. <laughs> Take notes, Cam. <laughs> just, just do it, you know? Blame yo, me. let me get a sponsorship. That's it. They like right. the work. They like the work. Or you, you could get sassy with it too and be like, yo, let me get a sponsorship, bitch. Now. <laughs> Assert the dominance. Right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> by the way, you guys sponsor me. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell them, like, I'm now sponsored by you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send stuff to this address. Yeah. That was like a lot of my older ones that I'm not sponsored by anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I have like four now, I think. Recovery. Uh, Maverick, FK, FK, and what's the other one? Oh, Industry Inks. I see, yeah. Yeah. And they're all awesome. Like, I could text all of them, which is cool. Yeah. Besides FK, I think. No, I got a guy at FK. Uh, yeah, I can text all of them. Right. That's cool. <laughs> you know, I don't have to, like, email or, yeah. like, Instagram them. Right, like, hey, come bowling with us. Dude, that would be tight. Yeah. <laughs> I would I bet they would have a ton Bring of Bring a machine. I feel like anybody that hangs out with like me and my girlfriend, they like we just have so much fucking fun all the time. So that's why I think you know, I think everyone thinks we're crazy. Fuck it. <laughs> that's good. You gotta have fun. Dude. If if I'm not laughing a majority of the day, it's like a wasted day to me. Yeah, yeah dude. I just do dumb shit, too. Like, I've totaled my golf cart, like, twice. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Like, going, like, full speed. How? Okay, full speed. And then that's how. <laughs> <laughs> right over speed bump. <laughs> yeah, totaled it twice. My girl was not happy about that. <laughs> you did it again! Dude, she, f she got me the golf cart for my birthday. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's not cool. <laughs> and uh, I totaled it once with Ben and Yulis on it, by the way. Wow. <laughs> yeah, ran it into a rock wall twice. Nice. 
Because <laughs> the first God, rock wall didn't take it out. It. Yeah, we can go through it. Yeah. <laughs> the first time didn't take it out. They're like, again, again, again. Yeah. It was just, it was hilarious because Ben's like, dude, you're going to hit that wall. Yeah. And I was like, nah. And I fucking slammed it. Oh, and I no. backed up and I was like, nah, it's fine. Yeah. And meanwhile, the axle's broken, and I pressed forward again, and I slammed it again. <laughs> Double I just, down. I just pictured him being like, off. I just picture you guys being like, let's go golfing, and then doing everything but golfing. For sure. <laughs> Do you golf? I golfed once this year. How was it? Pretty fun. Total golf cart? Nah. nah. <laughs> <laughs> but me and my boys were like, oh, you should bring your golf cart. And I was like, uh-uh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. If I total this one more time, my chick is going to be so pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Third time's a charm. Dude, I need to get a golf cart. It's good It's good to have. Dude, it's just the best, bro. Yeah. D- just don't total it. Right. Don't wreck it. <laughs> Watch out for rock walls. Yeah, speed yeah. bumps. Speed bumps. Right. You know, get it jacked up. Like, mine's like an older version, like like the cool-looking ones. So, like, you'll see, dude, like, if you go to Delray, you see, like, those, obvi- honestly, they're, like, $20,000 golf carts. Oh, those crazy-looking ones me. with the nice seats and all that yeah, shit. Yeah, with nice seats, and they got, like, spinners on them and yeah. shit. No, I want okay. the classic one with, like, yeah. golf cart wheels. Yeah, classic one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> classic one. I remember, because uh, the first time I totaled it, like, my chick didn't know. So, I, like, she went to work, and... Uh, I called around to like every golf cart place. I was like, dude, I need the biggest favor ever. Cause I was trying to get it fixed before she came home. Gotcha. Smart. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, I got a guy, he came out and I was like, I'll pay whatever you want. I'll pay a double. <laughs> Just get this fixed. Cause she's going to be fucking pissed at me. And, uh, he's like, all right, I got you. I'll get it back. And, uh, he puts it on the truck or whatever and, uh, gets it fixed, gets it back to my house. It's perfectly like, basically brand new and my girl comes home and she's like why is the golf cart why was the golf cart on a tow truck today and i was like how the fuck did you figure that out and her friend saw it on the highway oh, and man. Uh, our, our golf cart is named dolly carton Ooh, that's good. so she calls her and she's like why is dolly carton on the tow truck and L- lauren my girlfriend she's like uh oh shit lauren my fiance sorry Jesus Christ, I'm not used to that yet. But uh, she calls me, and she's like, oh, I don't know. I think Randy messed it up last night. And she calls me, and I was like, nah, I didn't do anything. Uh, that's the wrong golf cart. Right. <laughs> looks but like it ended that. up being fixed, whatever. And then the second time, uh, I went full speed over the speed bump and broke the back axle, and my brother fell out the back. <laughs> but Sounds it like was fun. fucking funny, <laughs> <Yeah>. dude. <laughs> it was very irresponsible, but it was funny. I just yeah, got to get. I got to put a GoPro on your go kart. <laughs> just, I know. I should follow the adventure. Doing that, <laughs> you should just do your YouTube like just you, about your golf cart. You ever seen Danny Duncan? Yes, dude. <laughs> that that is like. I feel like my life's kind of like that on like a very safe level. You know, because he's like he's lighting Lamborghinis green. on fire, yeah. and I'm just like. Hitting rock walls. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, it's settled. We have to get one. I think we get a golf cart. Never we one. need one just to I travel back should, and forth between dude, the I shops. I think you should get a golf cart sponsorship. Golf cart sponsorship? Yeah, I think you Like hit up it. KTM or some shit? Aren't you like famous and shit? I'm going to reach out. I think to all sure. golf cart. I'm gonna go to the bar first. <laughs> yeah, like this. And then I'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, let me get a sponsorship. Yeah, I bitch. promise I'll destroy it. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. promise I'll hit a speed bump and run into a wall. Selfie. <laughs> you sponsor me. If now. that works, give me one. I'm gonna drive it around the shop. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Make Logan open both doors so that I can bring it in. <laughs> <laughs> Check on people's stats. <laughs> just knock down this wall just yeah, for the golf dude. cart. Yeah. <laughs> Peel <laughs> off. <laughs> Help me get a handicap pass on it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Park where we we do need one to travel back and forth between the shops. Yeah, no, we actually do have to get, get one. I think it'd be cool. A lot of people ask about my setup and the ink I use. All I use is Allegory Ink. We have the white, the black, and the ultra black. This is my total setup right here. Get yours at allegoryinc.com. We got a discount code for you, unemployable for 20% off all their ink. Again, allegoryinc.com. 
I don't know what you guys are using to heal your tattoos, but you need to use Saniderm. This is all I use to heal tattoos that I do. This shit can heal anything. Well, almost anything. Go to Saniderm.com. Use discount code CAMSUCKS. I know. It's a great code. To get 15% off, it's again Saniderm.com. Yeah, so I did see in your bio, you do bookings through like a booking form online. Dude, I keep forgetting that this is about tattoos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, online booking forms? Yeah, I have to do that. Um, it just makes everything like super easy. Like I've, I've dialed it into a point where like you can write a description, you have to click half day or full day, um, where you're from, address, like basically like... Uh, you know, everyone else is like when you buy something on the internet, like a building yeah. address and shit, phone number, all your information and stuff. And then it goes to my email, which we can't get around. Um, so everything's through Squarespace. Right. And we can't get around them filling out the form. It goes to my email. If Tia, my assistant, if she replies to them in that email, it goes to their spam folder. Oh, weird. Uh, Super weird. Happens to everyone. So they have to, like, rewrite, like, a whole new email, practically? I, I guess. Them. I just have Tia text them now. Like, it's just Weird. straight to the point. But, like, that way, it's easy to, like, you practically, it forces them to fill out all the information. Right. It doesn't really leave any room for... Yeah, it cuts out, like, um, consultations. Like, yeah. I personally do not have time for consultations. And if I, when I do one, it's, like, straight, it's like, so straight to the point, it lasts, like, 10 minutes yeah like, why did we need to do this you know you could yeah. have just called me or something but i also don't like that either because <laughs> right. you know i don't really like working <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah and if i'm not tattooing i don't want to like call or talk about yeah. it yeah so tia tia is the best uh 250 dollars i've ever spent or that's weekly right yeah i pay her like 250 a week oh it's golden yeah it's so clutch dude and then like um she's my oh shit button too like if i can't make it like it's just, she just deals with the clients like i don't have to hear about it it's awesome to have like that filter between it yeah it makes you like not the bad guy in the yeah. situation sometimes yeah it also works out way better because um dude if if i book anyone myself like say we're just say we're like here right now and you're like let me get an appointment if i do it it fucks up everything for some reason. Same. Yeah, it's like if you want an appointment, you have to talk to her. Yeah, and it's like no offense, but like I pay this person right. go through her. Even with my friends, I'm just like, dude, just hit to you. It's yeah. easier that way. Yeah, because <laughs> then like if I do it, the last time I did it, I put someone in and both of them flew in and I was double booked. Oh, and I was like, man. I showed up to work and I had this guy's stuff drawn and this dude shows up. And I was like, are you here for me? And he's like, yeah. And I was like, fuck. You're like, well, do you want this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then, then the other guy shows up, and I was like, dude, I'll tattoo you at 6 o'clock tonight. Like, yeah. And he ended up, it, it ended up working out because he flew in for, like, a couple days, and he just ended up getting tattooed on that Sunday. Cool. Um, and that's why I leave Sundays open for a oh, shit right. button. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah, it's always nice to have that little, like, soft day. I'll do that, too, and sometimes it's awkward. Like, they'll be like, oh, hey, like, can I book an appointment with you? And I'm like, yeah, uh, here's someone else's number. You know? <laughs> yeah. Or I'll, yeah. like, text Kyle. I'll be like, text him right now, text him right now. You know, <laughs> I'm standing right in front of him. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah. but the consultation t thing, too, it's weird. Like, you don't like, need them. They'll email. They'll be like, I want to cast on my leg. I'm like, all right, cool. They're like, you know, consultation, whatever. Okay. And they come in, and I'm like, so... Uh, like, we'll do, like, a castle on your leg. They're like, exactly, bro. I'm like, all right, it was nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah. you Thanks for coming in. <laughs> yeah. Do you do consultations? I do. I am, like, still kind of, like, early in my career. So it's, like, for me, it's it, only if I'm, like, starting, like, a large piece. Like, for smaller tattoos, I won't. But, like, if somebody wants, like, a sleeve or something or, like, a large piece that's multiple sessions, I do, like, a consultation. It's, like, I'm not quick. I'm also not, like as versatile as like an experienced artist so it's easier for me especially if they're able to come in um to just, just talk through the yeah just for them. yeah for me it makes me feel better yeah. as like a younger artist it makes me like more confident going into like something i might not be used to doing like you know the clients on board yeah and that, that that's like a big part for me just knowing that they're on board and 
that like I can just like start my design and not have to worry about that because I'm also not like a fast. Are you an, are you an apprentice? Kind of like just graduated ish. Right? He's tattooing. Yeah. Is, it, is he your apprentice? Yeah. Oh. I've been cool. tattooing for about. Is he good? He actually, unfortunately, is good. <laughs> Shit. I try. Yeah. <laughs> and you've been tattooing for a year or something? A year and a half, a little longer now. Dang. Do you have any bad tattoos? On myself? Yeah. Yeah. I really? actually do. Yeah. I'm actually in the process of lasering a couple, but yeah, my thighs are horrible. I'll show you after. Okay. But I've been cool. lucky because I did, like, learning here, I have gone a f- fair amount of really good tattoos as well. Yeah. I was yeah. just going to say, like, all, like all the new tattooers, they have like really good tattoos. Yeah, yeah. I'm pissed about it. And I, I'm trying to get rid I of. I think it makes him look soft. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cam, Cam looks kind of soft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do have like I? I could say I'm at the point where. Do I have you have like any better. regrets, bro, in your whole life? Yeah, but I'm lasering. <laughs> your whole I'm, life I'm like tattoos. I'm literally. <laughs> do you have any regrets? I'm like lasering them right now. So like, <laughs> no, really, like, yeah. Yeah, you said your shit kind of blew up your leg, huh? Yeah. The what la- was the laser process like? It was kind of rough, to be honest. It hurt, huh? Yeah, it was bad. It I was heard def- it's like, uh, like, like a laser. <laughs> you feel like you're getting like a ray gun to the nah, fucking yeah, like, leg. Um, <laughs> like they're, it's a rubber band on a sunburn, you know? Yeah. It's like that motherfucker hit like the mystery box and pulled whatever weapon out of it and just started blasting me. Yeah, you it's trauma now. It's rough. It's like. You, Did you, you say, are you traumatized now? I said, do you have trauma now? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, it was definitely, like, one of those things where it's, like, if this was longer than a couple seconds, I wouldn't do it. Because you got Dang. this one, too. Yeah, right? I did, like, my collarbone, said, and I did I did three. You your collarbone? Yeah, it was bad. You have a script right here? Yeah, collarbone? it was, like, dude, I got it when I was, like, fucking 14 <laughs> or 15. <laughs> right. Like I said, I got some, this I have some, <laughs> I have some bad ones, dude. You boys got a couple kitchen tats. Like, are you have flying birds? <laughs> No, I, no, no flying birds or astrology symbols. So you're, your boy's good on that. Damn it! But like a couple For shitty, now. couple, yeah. a couple shitty that's roses his, and that's AKs. Cam's first face tattoo, <laughs> fucking birds <laughs> flying out of his nose, dude. I like the, I like the, like the green stars. Yeah, let me just cover you in teardrops, bro. <laughs> SoundCloud rapper tats. No, I just want to make you look sad. <laughs> <laughs> Give me all the peep tats. I hope you guys are enjoying this episode. Of the unemployable podcast we have the unemployable t-shirt it's okay also we have a variety of other clothing on the model citizen apparel.com you can even use discount code cam sucks for 10 percent off why are you guys standing behind me uh that was cool that was a cool podcast bro yeah. oh yeah yeah, thank you for coming down. I know it was a little bit of a drive. You hit yeah, you sorry I was late and hung over. Sorry. Gave me time to get breakfast. I wasn't. I appreciated that you were hung over. <laughs> I was like, cool. And honest about it. He's yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> thank you guys for joining us on today's episode of Unemployable. Randy, thank you again for joining us, man. It was awesome. Thanks. And we'll catch you guys next week.